contrary to our first manufacturing process video, which was free and pressure forming, please check it out. This one is a very common way of making products. This is Design Education with Mia Tahan. Today, I'm going to tell you about extrusion. So the easiest way to tell you about extrusion is with Play-Doh. Alright, so think about the toy, the tool, the Play-Doh tool that you used to have, where you would put the Play-Doh in the machine and then you would press down and the Play-Doh would come out the side in like, either like spaghetti strings or, you know, in the shape of a heart or whatever. So you had like a lot of different like shapes that you could change. That's, that's it. That's extrusion. End of video. Kidding. I'm gonna bore you with uh, more stuff. All right, so let's say you need to produce an L-shaped piece of steel. So something like this. And you need it to be two centimeters by two centimeters by 200 centimeters. One of the ways of producing this piece is to use extrusion. So you have your extruder machine here and you have some kind of system to push the material. So like usually it's a piston or um, a vise that pushes the, the material through. You get a big piece of the material, so in this case steel, and the machine is going to push it as well as heat it up to make it more malleable and so that it can pass through the die. This is the die. The die is what is going to give the shape to the material. So this is a side view of the process. If you had a face view of the die, it would look like this. So you have that, and then you have an L-shaped hole over here. Obviously, it's straighter than that. I'm drawing it now. So this is, this is full, and that's empty. The L shape is empty. And so while, as you apply pressure to the material, it'll start coming out from here and you'll slowly get an L-shaped piece coming out of the, of the die. Yeah, extrusion is quite a simple concept to understand. When we're producing a piece of material, like this piece of Play-Doh, you put it in the extruder machine, the extruder will apply pressure and or heat, and the piece will come out through the die in the shape of whatever you want it, and it'll be the same shape all in the whole length of the material. So you can use this process to treat a lot of different materials. You can use most metals, a lot of plastics, and some ceramics. It's a relatively cheap process, and what's great about it is that all you need to do to change the shape is change the die. So this, this process is used in a lot of different sectors. So you can use it in furniture design, you can use it in architectural structures like window frames, you can use it in product design, like lightings for lighting structures, and you can use it in foods as well, like industrial pasta. Uh, this process does have quite a big environmental impact. It uses uh, a lot of energy to put to apply pressure and apply heat and movement and etc. So that as well as the additional work that needs to be done on the piece before and after the extrusion does add up to quite a bit of CO2. But what's great is that the surface finish is quite good with this process. So unless you want to change the texture and have like a brushed effect on the metal or have like a matte finish on the plastic, you don't really need to do much for the surface and you can paint it or change the color. But extrusion is a very uh, widely used process. A lot of manufacturers will have this machine in their, in their factories. So yeah, it's quite, it's quite common. And uh, it's quite a basic, it's, it's like one of the basics in manufacturing. So let me know if you want to see more basics or more, you know, crazy original manufacturing techniques. But yeah, please like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I'll see you later.